guys, it's your girl Disaster's Beauty and I'm coming to you with another video. The wig I'm going to be reviewing today was sent to me by Sam's Beauty and I want to say thank you Sam's Beauty for sending me this really gorgeous wig. Um, I'm really excited to review it and to style it on camera. This is what the unit looks like um, in the box. <laughs> Look, this is not what the unit looks like y'all. This is what the box looks like. So this is what the box looks like. And um, as you can see this unit is by Instant Fab. It is in the, the design, not style, honey, it says design. It is in the design modern French in the color FT Caramel. So, yeah, and I really thought it was cool that it came in this cute little box. I love a good box. Y'all should know that at this point. I love a good box. So, it came in this box right here. And this is what the unit looks like on the stock card. And it's just kind of showing you a few ways you can style the unit. Um, yeah. And it's showing it in a few different colors. I don't know if I'm going to be styling my unit like any of these or whatever, but you can do it if you like. I don't know how I'm going to style this unit. So, it's been a while since I've styled a unit on camera, and I don't have my mirror with me, so it may be a bit of a struggle. But, I figured it'd be fun, and it'd be something to do, and a, a good way to show you how I style my short units straight out of the box. Because I get a lot of questions about how do I style my shorter units, and honey, I promise you I don't do a whole lot. It's not a whole lot you have to do with short units. You just basically framing it to fit your face. I don't cut because, honey, I don't know how to cut. When I cut, it, it, it's not cute. So, I don't cut it or anything. None of my short units. So, I thought this would be good. So, it comes in this little net. You know, I keep all my nets because I think that they keep the wigs, they preserve the wigs uh, for a longer amount of time. So, and uh, I also want to say, it says that this unit is 100% Remy Human Hair, so you can apply heat to it. I never go above 400 degrees. I, well, actually, I never use heat on my units, but I would suggest not going above 400 degrees because usually that's, that's what I've noticed that most of my wigs say do not go above 400 degrees. So, um, But you can, hey, honey, but sis. Sis, do what you like, honey. It's your wig, it's your hair. You know, you can do what you like. That would just be my suggestion. Um, yeah, so it does say 100% women human hair. And some short units uh, can be inexpensive and be uh, human hair because it's not a whole lot of hair, if you understand what I mean. And this is not a whole lot of hair. <laughs> so this is what the unit looks like straight out of the packaging. Um, really cute wig. I like the color. The color is really pretty. I do tend to go for colors like this that seem to be, you know, 27 or 30. And I don't know what this is, but it does look like a 27 or a 30 to me. Um, I like that color. That's the color I wore in high school. This wig only comes with one comb, and that's a comb in the back. And it does have adjustable straps, as you can see. I don't normally have to use, I'm talking about as you can see and you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. I don't normally have to use adjustable straps because I have a big head, so it's, I have a big head. But this is very, this, I think this is very big head friendly. So I do anticipate having to use the adjustable strap. So let me, let me just do that. Struggle bus or no? Nah. Okay, so I did use the adjustable strap. So, okay, let's take off my little head wrap. And if you guys would like to see a video how I do those little head wraps, please let me know. Whoa. Let me know and I'll be glad to do one. I actually learned it from a YouTube video myself, so <laughs> I, I could just link that video if I knew what it was.
Okay, and I am using that little comb that's in the back. So, yeah. Yeah, this wig is definitely, definitely big head friendly. So keep that in mind. But it does have the adjustable straps, but it still feels... Maybe I need to make it tighter, but it'll be okay for now. Okay, so I don't know what my brush is, so we're going to be using this comb instead. <laughs> oh, my life. The life of a mother. So let's comb her out and see how we're going to wear her. The bang is everything when it comes to short units. So how you style the bang is really going to determine the whole look of the wig. Like, really, the rest doesn't really matter. Not to me, anyway. I can't speak for everybody. So let me just say, it doesn't really matter to me. The The bang is the wig to me. <laughs> but, you know, maybe uh, the back is the, the, the main attraction for some people. But the bang is everything to me. I don't really care about the back. I just don't. Okay, this is a way that you could wear it if you like with one side tucked behind the ear and the other side kind of all the hair is kind of just like brought to the front. You can wear it like that. Um, not really my swag, but it is cute. You know, it's cute or whatever. It's just not really my swag. And like I said, the bang is life. Like it's, the bang is really what's going to make your make or break this wig. To me. <laughs> to me. So, um, yeah. And if you want to, you can bump it. I feel like this is a wig that may need some curl or something, honey. Something. Something to give it some, some sass. Because right now, I don't feel like it has much. It is kind of thin in the front to me. Um, so, that may be a con. May or may not, depending on you and what you like. To me, it's a con. I usually prefer my bangs to be kind of thicker because this is short hair. So, the bang, like I said, the bang is the main attraction. So, that is a con for me that is thin in the front. Okay. So, how I would style this wig and how I would wear this wig is with the hair tucked behind my ear. That is just something I've always done. Even when my own hair was short, I used to just have it tucked behind my ear kind of like that and like let little pieces kind of stay out and you do not have to have all this hair in your face if you do not want it to be in your face i know a lot of people don't like hair in their face um or in their eyes i don't mind hair in my eyes i actually kind of like the you know anything with a little hair in my eye i used to be a big fan of Aaliyah when i was a little girl and i used to think it was so cool that her hair would be over her eye so I like the hair over my eyes, but I know a lot of people that is like a no-go. So, yeah, this is another way you could wear this unit. And if you don't want the hair in your eyes, you can always kind of comb it back. You could comb it back like that. And it's not in your eyes at all. You could wear it like that. So, I think that's really cute. So, let me give you guys a full 360. This is it in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And I hope it's laying pretty good because it's really nice in the back. And this is it on the right side. Now, as you guys probably know and probably heard, Journey Brown is now in full effect. And you know that means I have to wrap this thing up. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I listed all details possible. Don't forget to check out Sam's Beauty. I will have a direct link to this wig and a direct link to their website in the description box. So please check them out. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.